We are kind of trapped. I think everybody living in the yeah, like Medwin Street, no, Juicy no, Street. If you even come from Brixton Police Station, we can no longer access yeah. Ferndale yeah. Road because Paul Rush Road has now been closed off. Yeah. So yeah. we now have to drive. If you come from there, you've got to drive Stop under Landor. Landor Road. But what I've had to do is swing round in the road mm. to take Ferndale Road yeah. at TK Maxx because there's no other way. Yes. A five minute journey or it's now become... right there, can you? No. no. You can't do a right, number yeah. one, if you come from the police station. Yeah. So you have to go all the way down to the town hall, swing round to access Ferndale Road. I don't see... That's more dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous in general. Yeah. And I'm not going to be the only car that's doing that. There's going to be many more. I mean, the safety is about being safe as well on the street. <laughs> Them taking away, um, blocking all the roads, you're making an area vulnerable to me. Because when there's activity, there's, the houses are not open for burglaries, all sorts of things. The, the votes are silent. Nothing is happening here. The streets used to be safe. You can guarantee a car's driving down the road. If you needed help, at least you know that a car might stop for you. Now, who's going to stop for you? Also, the Uber <laughs> That's great. Yeah. We we love swear words. Yeah, it's expressing yourself. It's a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just a, I've been trapped in my car a few times. You can see. I put them out when I was out. I came back. I was just, I had to get out of my car and knock on somebody's door and say, "What's happened?" Yeah. 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 Nobody knows. I said to my husband, "If we've been on holiday, you know, and this had come through, and then you come back, then yeah, like, yeah. you're gonna be like, what? Have you had any explanation at all? Why is it?" It's you can make access worse for ambulances, couldn't it? Medford Road has already got a reputation for being one of the most polluted roads. Well, the most polluted road is Brixton. 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 It's, it's going to be very much there, it's going to be and then chaos. you've got to go round St Matthew's Roundabout, which is mm. another pollution hotspot. And they've also shut that road as well, you know. You yeah, yeah, go yeah I that know. Road but, they just, mm. but they're saying it's about better air. It's How can we be in the car for 25 minutes longer Extra. with your engine <laughs> idling, yeah, yeah. which is one of the yeah. biggest pollution yeah. formers, yeah. be better? No, it, it's, not, it's just an excuse. And Landor to... Road, what's going to happen there? Well, that's going to be back yeah. to back. You're going to be coming down Landor Road. It's an excuse to what? The what? What? what you see, because I know this is something I've missed saying. Um, I feel it's going to be a long run thing. We're mm. in this for the long run. Mm. Yeah. And I, you see, one thing I realize in, in, in life is that money says a lot, it means a lot to a lot of people. We all need money, including Lambeth Council. Mm. So we are paying our residence permits. Why are we paying our residence permits and we cannot move freely on the roads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would love to suggest, if we have to go any further with this, that we all as a collective refuse mm. to pay our residence permits. Mm. Mm. Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. Let them feel it in their pockets. Yeah. Don't, uh, other places have done it. Don't you get a, if you live there, you, you can go through it. Uh, Fulham and Hammersmith and Fulham have done that. Yeah, and, and and in PR. Yeah. But our council said it's too expensive yeah. for us to have that. But they can have it to find us. Yeah. If they can yeah. make money from <laughs> us, it's <laughs> okay. Yeah, get right here. Oh, what's happening for you? Oh, is it? Oh, good. Yeah, we've done an interview about it on the corner. Okay. It's going to YouTube. Right, so what did you want? Remember, I know I said we're Brixton by nature. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Brixton, Brixton by nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know, get to know. Brixton, yeah? Yeah. One and only. You understand? Yeah. No, is that your bit? Yeah. Farm closures. Yeah. 
So how do you feel about the closure and how has it affected your business? It's, it's affecting the business a lot. There's no one around you, it's dead. dead. The, the, the taking is very low. Yeah. With yeah. the fact that milk, we can't sell milk again because it goes out of date. Yeah. Our perishable walls, we tend to buy less of them now because there's no need in buying them because no one's passing them. Yeah. I was, was going to say, from the uh, Costrandel Road, through here, Concan Road is a through fear from Stockwell to Acre Lane. To Acre Lane. Yeah. And no one it's been a through fear for as long as I can remember. Yeah. yeah? Before I was born. Before you yeah. was born. Yeah. yeah, before I was born. Yeah, now it's been locked off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right now, everything's diverted away from this corner. Yeah. So there's no there's no passing trade anymore. You can it's get like in. A, you know, it's, 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 it's a desert. It's a desert. The locals, they'll come here and they get their one or two bits and pieces. But they've got Tesco's up the road. The bulk of their shopping are doing Tesco's. You know what I'm saying? We rely heavily on passing trade. Now there is none. We won't even consult Sad about this. Yeah, we won't even consult it. So what are they going to do about it? You feel like you should get compensation for the road closure affecting your business? Yes. Oh, so something's got to give. I don't even want compensation. I want them to open back the road and yeah. put things back how it was. I ain't begging them nothing. We, 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 we don't beg them nothing. We never we never have. Great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get me? But now they're putting, they, they, they're putting us in a position now. It's like where they want us to beg them. Yeah. They can't buy anything. They're trying to force you. So they force this slow traffic neighborhood on you and they're forcing the way you operate your business to change. So. Well, clubs. Yeah. So, that's it. All right, thanks for your time though, yeah? You're welcome. All right, cool. welcome. With all this um, space around here, yeah? All this space around here, with nobody really wearing face masks, social distancing, why is this sign here? Why is this road being blocked? Why is the road closed from here? Why is the road closed? This is ridiculous. Do you work here? I think we live here. It's closed because there are 6,000 cars going down the street every day. And people There's 6,000 cars going down right now. I see one car. Well, every day, yeah. 6,000 cars go down the street and the people who live on Railton Road are sick and tired of it. Who are, who are the people of Railton Road? Yeah. Have they all signed a petition? Some of them probably have, yeah. So, no, you, you said probably, so has all of them signed a petition? No, I doubt it. Okay, then. So, in this report here, this will verify that this is not needed. Because look at this empty road. Yeah, there's no need for this road to be blocked and to give people tickets or any other thing. As you can see, I'm walking in the middle of the road, yeah? Why is this road being restricted? What benefit to the public does the road being restricted? What benefit is it? What benefit is it to the public for this road to be restricted? In fact, any road to be restricted. Like certain roads that you have with one way um, roads that um, exist now, like last year in Fort and Heath area, they changed the one way road to a one way road, sorry two-way road to one-way road but yeah as you continue next video what do you want to do? um how, how do you feel about the road closure yeah because the effect in my businesses and lots of customer having problem passing through trade i haven't get anything right now since road is closing and if you can road open much better for the businesses as well and uh, food path flow very good to us business wise you know yeah. And plus good communicating, people come in out more. Yeah. So you've seen less people in your shop? Yeah, less people, of course. Yeah. And a passing, we don't have any passing trade right now. Just so I'm here standing up and nothing to do, you know? Nothing to do. So did you Lambeth are, contact you about the road closure? Uh, Lambeth, uh, they sent me a letter. And I have to, like, supporting to the whoever it's managed to open the road, then I can... I will help them, you know. Yeah, you couldn't contact them, no? Mm, because, no, I did, but nobody can answer the call. Right? Nobody um, answered your call? Guys, I don't know, the people are working over there or what? Because, you know, I'm not sure about that. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks for your time. Eh? No problem. Welcome. As soon as possible, road open. We'll 
helpful to every community. And so you want to open the road to be open? Yeah, again. yeah, as soon as possible. Okay. And uh, helping to community as well. No? Yeah, cool. Thank you. Cool, bro. Have a good day, bro. Bye. Yes. Yeah, and um, how do you feel about the road closures recently in Brixton? Terrible. Most of my customers are screaming blue murder because they can't get to me. So I'm losing. I'm, so I'm losing. I'm losing at least forty percent of my business. Okay, and was he consulted by the council at all? I wasn't consulted. I was. I was consulted a day after they did it. They came and told me they're doing changes. Okay. Have you been told of any ways that you can make any changes to, to their changes? No. Okay. Um, so, do you live locally or is your business locally? My business is locally. I've been here for 40 years. 40 years. And before, 40 years. before the low traffic neighbourhood was introduced, did you notice a lot of traffic around here? Not that much. Not that much, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Not okay. that much into concern with what they're actually doing. Yeah. And it takes me now, it takes me, it's put 25 minutes on my journey coming into work yeah. and 35 minutes going out to work. And the school kids are not back at school yet. So what's going to happen when they go back to school? Yeah. Oh, thanks for your time. You're yeah. welcome. All right. Is that the man yeah. you want me to do? Because I said I go, because I've got a family, like four of us live in my house. And mm. I said, I, I do try to, because he said to me, what I suggest you do is buy a trolley. Please. Wow. <laughs> and I was going, I work 10 hours a day for six days a week trying to save my business. Yeah. And you think, on my little time I've got, yeah. I can just get a trolley. And we even share, That's we go together. Life works sometimes. Say, two yeah, cars yeah. one car. Yeah. I think yeah. people, people have lost respect for other people's lifestyles. Yeah. 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 We, we yeah. would all like to have a perfect life and we can do certain things. Yeah. But sometimes we are time poor and we have to live according to what we've got. And that yes. might not be okay for some, but for us it's been we yes. do our bit in yes. life. We're hard working. Yeah. We're trying our best. Yeah. And that's it. You know, what can we say? And they've got these signs on the floor. They've been stamping around here. Feet friendly. Feet friendly. Yeah, they're putting up posters. You can see the evidence. And they've been ripping. I don't know who's been ripping them down, but people have been ripping them down. Yeah. Oh, it's got the legislation that they want to yes. put in on there. The top one, you can see where the poster was. They ripped down your poster, yeah. They've been ripping down the change.org ones as well. That's been around the area. And they'll tell us that we're causing emissions with the congestion zone and the ULS charge. Taking over the place. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Why are they doing this to the road? Well, what kind of joke is it, for real? <laughs> what, so is this the number to speak to them? This uh, number right here? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one. So if every, anyone wants to speak to them about this, yeah. they contact this number, yeah? yeah please do. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah. So, how you feel like, well, I'm starting, I'm starting. Oh, you're going to ask me the question? Yeah. 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 Alright, so who are you? Well, what are you community, I live on Fonda Road, um, I've been driving, obviously, I've seen a lot of houses, um, temporary lights, temporary this, um, floors boxing the road or whatever you want to call them, like I don't know what's going on, yeah. like someone need to give us and tell us what's actually going on in the areas. Okay, so as a you consulted by the council? I didn't get no letter, I didn't get anything at all, okay. you understand, all I'm seeing is you can't drive up that road anymore. And as of this time, if you drive through, you get a fine of whatever money it is, and you just have to work with it. So it's been forced upon the community to work with regulations that we don't know about. Yeah. What about these road closures? I think it's, a, it's daft, mate. It's daft. You're yeah. trying to go somewhere and you everywhere. Can't, you can't get anywhere. It's a complete and utter waste of time. I don't know what the council is trying to achieve. 
But yeah. what are some of the things that I've seen that they've done? It absolutely does not make sense. I mean, if this is what what people have to put up with, and then you know, put a consultation in overnight, I don't get it. I really don't get it at all, man. It's Never frustrating. It's disgusting. Why are pushing everybody on a main road when you, the, the main roads are being restricted just the same? Are you piling traffic? What's this? Is, it, is this something that was pre-planned before COVID or is this a COVID thing? I don't know because um, the, the, the paperwork that's coming out and, and the stuff that they're doing. So in terms of going to the doctor, if you wanted to go to the doctor now, how would you do that by car? I can't. I just have to try to park my car at my estate and walk because it's pointless. Okay, so are there disabled people in your block that you know of? Yeah, there's lots of disabled. There's about about four disabled people that live in my block. So now they're going to suffer? You know, they're going to gonna have to suffer because at the end of the day, they have to try to mobilize themselves to go to their own doctors. There's no van or any transport or anyone to take them to the doctors. So what do you expect them to do? Time. No problem. Please, I hope we solve this problem. Look at that diverted traffic. Why don't the sign is it? Why is that sign there diverting people? Where Where is it diverting them to? If this is so called for Corona and it's for helping people cycle, like when people are all like the lights and stuff, like. At the traffic lights, they used to have some traffic lights at the corner there, so you could cross straight over. Mm. And I think they got rid of the traffic lights, so I'd have to cross over that side, then go that side. So How do you feel about the road closures? Yeah, it has affected our business by almost 50%. 50%? Yeah, and we've lost all the business, no, no, no passing trade, nothing at all. Okay. So we are, suffering, we are struggling now. So was you consulted about the road closures? Did Lambeth tell you anything about it or did you just see it? No, we just saw it. We didn't, uh, we didn't have any information about it at all. Okay, and has anyone spoke to you about it since then? No, never. Never? No. Okay. All right, cool. We, um, what's this? Where is this going? Why is London need so many roadworks? I don't think they're laying something underneath the ground. That's what I think. They're laying bicycle lanes. <laughs> no, it could, be, it could be part of the 5G thing. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. They're doing something underneath the ground because I was wondering why they're doing this thing outside the train station and it, it caused a lot of traffic. Mm. Mm. This, look, look. Why are they Look at the cyclists on the other side of the road. No, no, it's because the lane is free. What? What? Because the lane is what? They're doing more road work. What are they putting here now? Look, cycling again. Yeah. And where people have to park here for Tesco's, you come out in the morning, there's four or five the Tesco trolleys thrown out the road. So they traditionally back their car. Oh, wow. And that's a long walk from Tesco. Yeah. In London, yeah? Yes. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Look, this road right here. I, I'm currently right now trying to deliver blood, yeah? But I can't get to the hospital. Right. Now I'm going to wait 20 minutes to go deliver someone's life-saving blood. Right. Yeah. Bad. Thank Have a good day, yeah? Do you know anybody um, who has disabilities that are suffering from these changes? Yes. I have a lot of customers who are disabil have disability um, who come to my shop and this affects them a lot because some coming from the hospital end and when they come at Atlantic Road here, they can't make a left. They have to go up, come back round and to turn. In front of Atlantic Road here now, when all the traffic go around and come back and to turn right here because there's a camera sign to say you can't go through, you can see small vehicle turn big vehicle cannot turn across this small road here they have to be reversing right back up and nobody know what is happening you can't nobody can explain anything at all atlantic road it is a dead end there's nothing right if you walk on uh, coming from um at the end of uh cold harbor coming up there's a main traffic going straight up into the town when you go up into that traffic and to come back, there's nobody's going to go up to Town Hall to drive to come back down on Atlantic Road to buy a potty for one pound or to buy a bread for one pound and go back. Nobody will do that. 
So based upon that, we are losing our business. It is deteriorate all, all our business. Not me alone, all the other business here on this road here. There's nobody coming. Because if you force the, the traffic to go up into the town and to turn back into that traffic to come back down here, there's nobody's going to want to come down here to buy something or to spend a pound or to do anything. Nobody's going to want to do that. Yeah. People, you, people, over the years, people used to make the left turn, they used to come straight through, they used to stop for five minutes or ten minutes and go through from wherever in London you go. And I know that this was one of Brixton main road. Now you cut it off, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of you being close to the hospital, do you think that's affected the, the emergency services? It affects everybody. Emergency service, everybody. Everybody. People coming from the hospital, people going to the hospital, everything. Everything. It affects every everybody. When emergency, when the bus is coming up and emergency services coming up, nobody have nowhere to go, nowhere to turn. And it is really somebody in authority need to take the resident into consideration and have some form of dialogue with both the residents or and the people who are doing business in Lambeth. Um, like we have to pay rent, we have to pay light bill, we have to pay electricity bill, we have to pay business rate, we have to pay staff, we have to pay tax, and we have to pay. We have a lot of overhead to pay, and if we can't get customer to get money in to pay our overhead, that means you're forcing us out of business. Lambeth Council can have the, the choice to come to small business like us and say, listen, we don't want to see you people on our high street anymore. Pack up and go. If that's what they want, just tell us. But do, psychology, don't use the psychology on us by cutting off the road, making us suffer, forcing us to go for bankruptcy, forcing us to um, ask for loan, force where well, you can't afford to pay. I've been doing business for several years and I've never asked for loan. Now I'm forced to ask for loan to pay my light bill, to pay my bills. Also because we're not surviving. Okay, we're not so they, they've easy. raised the rates on you then? Is that we're, what you're Well, we are expecting the rates and so on is going to be going up. We are paying to dispose of our garbage. We have business rate to, um, to pay. We have a lot of overhead. And if you're, taking, if you're pushing away the customers from where we're doing our business, how are we going to pay the bills? How are we going to pay the bills? And I think um, somebody needs to speak to us. We need to have, we need to hear from the authority to say what is happening. What was, what are we going to do? What are we really, really going to do? Because it's, it is really, really, really frightening. Okay. Right. A lot of people are planning to close. What are you going to do? And I think if Lambeth wants small business like us on Atlantic Road to close, I think the decency, they could just meet with the people on Atlantic Road and say, look, we do not want you on Atlantic Road anymore. We have plans for Atlantic Road and move on. But tying our feet, shackle our feet and say run, it is totally, totally inhumane. And all the business on Atlantic Road, we have been shackled by Lambeth Council because we cannot do nothing. Okay. There's nothing we can do. So in, in terms of um, the signage or you know of these signs, um, allegedly it's meant to be a trial situation where the scheme is meant to run for six months. Have you seen any sign that's told you that it's a trial? I see no sign that it's a trial because um, the little I have, knowledge I have, if you're doing a trial, then you have dialogue while you're having a trial. I see no dialogue with Lambeth Council. So you come with, you're the Lord God Almighty, you put your law down, whether you like it or not, or move on. If you're having a trial, you dialogue with your resident. I personally do not see nor hear about any form of dialogue um, with Lambeth, nor with the residents, nor with the business. I heard of people who wanted to demonstrate, I heard about people who wanted to do a lot of things, because they are frustrated. And when you force people to demonstrate or to go on the street from things like that, you're forcing them to do things that they don't want to do. Lambeth could have dialogue with the resident, the business people and say, this is what we like to do, how it would affect you and what is your input or your um, whatever you want to say in that area. None of that have been happening to anywhere in Brixton.
if it happened in Brixton, not on Atlantic Road, because I live good with all the business people here on Atlantic Road, and we talked about with each other, and I'm quite sure if something like that was happening, personally, I would have heard. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time, sir, and keep up with the business. Let's thank you so forward. much. It's a pleasure talking to you, my friend. Yes. Yeah. Where yeah. are we? I'm, I'm on Atlantic Road. Um, the. the the road closure is not what we want. It's not what you want. It's not what everybody wants. You know, imagine coming out of COVID, we're struggling already, we got a lot on our head, we got a lot on our mind, and closing this road is adding more to it. The government should do more to assist us. The government should do more to support us. The government should do more to ease the stress, not mm. add more to it. A lot of people will pass through this road without information. They will get ticket on this road. It's not fair. If you're losing money, if you're losing business, and at the end of the day, the government is not even helping you, but adding more to it will not. It's not. It's not what we want. And the government should do everything to support their people. This is Brixton, you know. And I don't know. We we we. It is now. It, we, we. I'm good. It, it, I'm so happy to have the opportunity to make such a video. So they should listen to our voice and do something about this. We yeah. don't want this, and they can still correct this. Okay. You know. Thank you very much for for the, for what you're doing. You're doing a very good job, and we hope the government will do something about it. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Respect, sir. Yeah. Bless. Thank you. I'm the controller in the car, please. Yeah. Uh, Atlantic Road, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about the road closures? Well, right now it's causing a lot of uh, pain to the drivers, especially my car drivers. Yeah. Because um, since your since the office is here, if you're going to pick up at the market there, meaning that they have to go around, around and around to come back to the market. And the market so, is right there? I don't know if it's well planned. I don't know, I, I don't think it's well thought of anyway. Okay. All right, so did they approach you about these changes or did they let you know anything? Some people said they approached them, but they didn't approach us directly. No, okay. They didn't. They didn't. All right, cool. So has your journey time been affected coming into work? Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, have you noticed any engines being idle from being stuck in the traffic? Um, virtually it's slow for our business because it's causing a lot of confusion and traffic around the area here. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. All right. Cool. How are you, sir? Hello, I'm Mark P. Okay. Uh, what, what's your business? Balance. Balance ba Cafe Balance. Or Road. Balance Cafe or Ferdo Road. So, how do you feel about the road closures? It hasn't affected my business personally because people are still coming back and forth. And um, but if you were going to close. Ferndale Road, at least make sure that it would, it would, there would be some route to get onto Acre Lane rather than people having to go all the way around or not even having a sign at the bottom of the road saying you can't go this way or no turn onto Acre Lane. Yeah. Um, you should have told the residents six months before you were making any changes or at least make them aware. I know that it was, a, it was available online and it was in the Brixton Bugle and things like that but it should have, it should have been through people's letterboxes. Um, and because nothing's changed, and online on, on Google Maps it hasn't changed either. So everyone's going down there, finding out that they can't get through, coming back again, and then going all the way around. So not only have they tried to reduce, I don't know whether it was to reduce emissions it, or anything yeah. like that, but they've just made it worse. They've made it worse. They've, they've made, made it worse. made congestion worse. Yeah. It's been like this for, it's been like this ever since. Yeah. For, for 10, 15 years, so why would you change it now when everyone's, everyone's yeah. happy and living there? Yeah, and, I've know, never they, really they had a Fernell being a traffic area, so why would yeah. they change it? And they haven't taken into consideration the old people that live down the road. Now yeah. the ambulances find it hard to get down there. Yeah. What happens if there's a fire down there? How, would it, how is the fire service meant to get through? Yeah, it does. And I know they say, oh, right, fire, fire and emergency services can get anywhere. Well, when there's two big blocks blocking the road, how are they meant to get anywhere? Okay, yeah. So, for example, to say if you was to live on, uh, say, the other side of Paul Ross Road and you was disabled, do you think that would be easy for them to get to the doctors next to the refill? No. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't, would it? No, it wouldn't, because they'd have to go all the way around all instead of just around. coming straight through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, at me. the end of the day, look, it's about, it's about health and safety. Yeah. If you covered those things first, 
the, the first thing, whenever you're making changes or, so, or something like that to, to roads or whatever the laws might be, the first thing that you need to address is the safety of the people that live in the area. And they, they haven't done that. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, All thanks right, for your time, yeah? Thank you. Oh, cool, bro. Yeah.